Thank you, Chase. In September, beloved Permian head coach Gary Gaines passed away after his long battle with Alzheimer's. He was 73 years old. Yeah, from the football field to his personal life, he had a huge impact on and off the field. Fox 24's Rachel Holland spoke with the late coach's family, shows us what they want everyone to know. Many remember Permian head coach Gary Gaines through the popular book and movie Friday Night Lights. Based off his 1988 state champions, the undefeated Panthers taking Division 5A by storm. But for those who knew him off the field, he was much more than just a successful coach. I think you only know what you know. So, I mean, everybody's dad was their superstar or their highlight of their life. My dad was just the football coach that that was our world. Bradley Gaines remembers his dad, Coach Gary Gaines, the man who was not just any football coach. He's the man who inspired the famous book and movie, Friday Night Lights. He touched the hearts and minds of many throughout the country, but to his closest loved ones, he was already famous in the community he built around him. His wife, Sharon, is proud of her late husband's accomplishments. Just to see him grow as, as a person and as a coach was exciting. And she says even though they were together for more than 50 years, it still wasn't enough time. Yeah, when I tell people 52 years, I, I always say I just wanted 52 more. Coach Gaines passed away in September at the age of 73 years old after his long battle with Alzheimer's. Yeah, it's, it's just it's a mean disease. You're, you're never prepared. A journey, um, he always knew me, and that was such a blessing. He always knew me. It's hard because you want him to be healed, but you don't want to let him go. So that was a difficult thing. Um, but for Coach Gaines, the fight was never over, and his coaching heart always remained. When he was able to walk around, he was still coaching. People would be in wheelchairs, or they'd be walking down the hall, and he'd be walking by and saying, you're doing a good job, you know, it's going to be okay. I loved that because it just showed you how deep his, his love for people and his taking care of them. Coach Gaines was so successful on the field, many schools wanted him to be their coach, and so his career took him to many places. The family moved 17 times for him to take over the football teams at new schools. And while his family says that was tough to move that many times, they cherish all of his successes. And while he was successful on the field, when he did lose, which was rare, he said his family made it all better, especially his grandchildren. He wasn't a really good loser. Most coaches aren't. But uh, our oldest granddaughter, who's about 26, fixing to be 26, one time we had lost, we were in San Angelo Central, and one of the coaches said, um, take that baby in there and see if that'll brighten his face up. And we handed her to him, and he just, he was beaming. He forgot all about the loss. Coach Gaines worked with many young athletes throughout his career, and to this day, many of them stayed in the Gaines' lives, and many came to his celebration of life in Odessa. His family says that shows how amazing of a man he really was. Yeah, he was a great dad. He was a great role model. He was a great leader in our lives. I don't know how many people I've run into the last three or four years that just tell me a story. And it's just like, it doesn't have to do anything with football. Um, it just talks about his heart and his giving and caring. And um, and I think that's, and that's what drives me to be even better, is just like that love and passion and caring for other people. Since he died, his family founded the Gary Gaines Alzheimer's Foundation, helping those in West Texas battling Alzheimer's, more specifically with the financial toll the disease has on families. We saw that through and through time and time with different people that were in facilities um, that would, you know, just be burdened financially. So it's education, it's um, financial. It's, there's a lot of different reasons we wanted to start the foundation in Dad's name. Bradley says he couldn't have imagined a better person in his life and says it was the best thing that the last game he went to with his father was the Mojo game. We actually went, before he went in, we went to a Permian game um, in Lubbock and um, watched Permian play. And just that last probably 
game with him was cool. Now, they just hope he knows how much he was loved and how much he is loved. Just thank him for, thank him for being who he was and for the influence that he had on everybody, but especially our family. And uh, just, you know, we love him and we miss him. A true legend both on and off the field. If you'd like to know more information about the Gary Gaines Alzheimer's Foundation, go to yourbasin.com. In studio, Rachel Hallam, Fox 24 News.